Okay, today's video lesson is on metaphor. So, what is a metaphor? A metaphor is uh, a comparison between two seemingly unlike objects, often using is or was. Okay, so you are trying to identify one thing as another. And uh, the use of metaphor points out the similarities between these two dissimilar things. Okay, uh, a metaphor is often richer in meaning compared to a simile because more than one aspect of the object is co um, compared. So let's take a look at an example. So uh, take a look at this metaphor. John is a pig. So it is comparing every aspect of John to that of a pig. So how is John like a pig? It could be he's very greedy, Okay, he is very lazy, he is um, uh, very untidy, very messy. So it can be uh, uh, um, all kinds of behavior uh, of, of John that is similar to a pig. Now, let's say if it's a simile, John eats like a pig. He only compares John eating habits only to that of a pig. Okay, that means like John is a uh, messy eater. That is what it means. Okay. Now, let's go to the worksheet. Uh, you have, okay, the, um, you should have the package for language for impact. Okay, turn to this particular page on metaphor. So just now, I've already highlighted uh, and uh, explained the definition of a metaphor. Okay, so comparison between two un seemingly unlike objects, often using is and was. Okay, and uh, use of a metaphor points out similarities between two similar objects. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the first type of metaphor, the one that is clearly stated. For example, love is a rose. Love is a rose. How is love like a rose? So, uh, the f if you say that, uh, if, if you find rose is very beautiful, okay, rose smells sweet, okay. If you uh, see uh, these aspects of rose, okay, and compare it to love, that means you also think that love is very pleasant. Okay, love is very beautiful. Okay, have a look at the thorns, okay, on the rose. Okay, so what does it imply about love as well? Love is painful. Okay, just like the thorns can be found on the roses. So uh, how would you craft the answer then? Okay, how would you craft the answer? So you can craft the answer this way. Okay. Okay. For example, uh, the nature of love is compared to the what is it? Fragrance and beauty of a rose. What does it imply? Okay. Implying that love is pleasant and beautiful. Okay. So, um, this is one interpretation of this metaphor, love is a rose. What is another interpretation of love is a rose? Okay, so you can craft it this way. Uh, at the same time, okay, the thorns, okay, on a rose imply that Love can at times also be painful. Okay. 
So this is the explanation of the metaphor, love is a rose. Let's take a look at another example here. Okay. Okay, the another example is, um, sorry about that. Time is money. So, time is money. It's this metaphor. Okay. So, look at this uh, picture here of an hourglass. Okay. Time is money. Maybe I should inverse that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how is time like money? You invest your time. You waste your time. Okay. You can save time. Okay. So, how would you craft the answer to explain this metaphor? Okay. Based on the concept that, so I should use green instead. Oh, time is money. I should use green. Based on the concept that, okay, time is money. This metaphor implies that time. Okay, so this is the explanation on here. Is something that can be invested, wasted, borrowed, spent, and saved. So the one highlighted in blue is the explanation. Okay, of the metaphor time is money. Okay, now implied metaphors. Implied metaphors are more difficult to recognize uh, as compared to those which are clearly stated. So, for example, this one. Example 3A. Standing at the crossroads of life. Okay, so you can see that this person is standing at a crossroad. Which path to take? Okay, he's making a decision. Okay, let's see in another example 3B. I hit the dead end chasing my dream. So when you hit a dead end, that means there's nowhere to go. So how would you explain this? So uh, in the two examples given, okay, crossroads, dead end, okay, are based on the concept that, what is this? Life is a journey. Okay. So, the one in blue is the explanation. Okay. okay. It must be thus be inferred. Okay. So, this is telling you that this is not a clear metaphor. It's an inferred kind of uh, metaphor. That there is A comparison between life and a journey. Okay, so this type of um, implied metaphors are much more difficult. Uh, so, will we set this type of questions? Well, why not? <laughs> it really depends on uh, what the passage offers. Okay, but don't worry, we're going to practice. So, now. Let's practice the first metaphor exercise. Okay, it's exercise four. Okay, let's read the text first. Right now, our entire country is trying to bear the weight of Hurricane Katrina, who clawed her hands over us like a giant witch ripping apart our very roots, and vomiting on our people. And so I mourn, and so I pray for those people down there who dance every day now in their walls of terror. So, do you think, the question is this, do you think the writer's use of the metaphor dance in their walls of terror is appropriate? Why or why not? So, for this particular question, there are two possible answers. 
Okay. Take the time now to pen down your answer. Pause the video. Write your answer. After that, come back and watch it. Okay. Are you ready? You still don't know how to do the question? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the picture here of a wolf. Okay. So, um, let's say that uh, you find that the writer use of the metaphor dance to their walls of terror is appropriate. Why? Why do you think that it is ap appropriate? So, uh, looking at the faces of the dancers, okay, what kind of emotion does it convey? Okay, comparing it to the natural disaster. Okay. So, how would you craft the answer? Why is it appropriate? So, if, let's say uh, you answer it first. Okay, why do you think the use of the metaphor dance in the hours of terror is appropriate? So, let's say here this. Okay. I think that the metaphor is appropriate. Answer the question first. Okay. Why? Why do you think that it is appropriate? Okay. So, you can say that dance can be used to convey many emotions such as fear okay and loss so um, this Metaphor. Okay, what does it do? Describes the victim's struggles as a result of the hurricane. Right? So, it effectively conveys the feelings of loss. Okay, so this is one possible answer for why you think that the metaphor is appropriate. Okay, now... What if you write that uh, the metaphor is inappropriate? How would you explain it? So, okay, so you can say, I think that the metaphor is inappropriate. Okay, so dance can be used to convey many emotions, such as, what kind of emotion? Joy. And such as joy, okay. So, uh, this metaphor uh, describes the victim's struggle as a result of hurricane. So, it is in a insensitive. Sorry. Sorry. This metaphor use, uses dance. Right? Uses dance 
to describe the victim as a result of the hurricane. So it's insensitive, right? Because it's like joy, okay? When these people are coping with loss. Okay, so uh, this is the alternative answer to why you think that the use of the metaphor uh, is inappropriate. Okay, let's take a look at another metaphor. Okay, let's take a look at another metaphor. Having suffered so much pain at the hands of every person she has ever been close to, Lucy built a wall of aloofness around her. The writer uses the metaphor built a wall of aloofness in describing how Lucy relates to people. I explain why is it effective? Okay, why is this effective? Okay, so you can see that uh, I have a picture of somebody who is... Um, Sitting by the sea intentionally to be alone. Okay. And there are no friends around here. Keeping a distance away from other people. Okay. Now, here is uh, someone building a wall. Okay. So, what is this wall of aloofness is for? Okay. What does a wall do? Okay. So, explain why this metaphor of build a wall of aloofness is effective in terms of how Lucy relates to people. Okay, pause the video, craft your answer, later come back and continue the video lesson. Okay, are you ready? Let's begin. So why is this metaphor effective? So you can say the metaphor is effective because what does the wall symbolize The wall symbolizes a barrier. Okay. What does it do? What does this wall or loathness do? Okay. A barrier that prevents who? People from getting close to Lucy. So Lucy sorry, Lucy will not be hurt. Hurt, sorry. Hurt. Emotionally again. Okay. Is this answer good enough? Okay. I think we can add this word enough so that the answer can be more precise. So the metaphor is effective because the wall symbolizes a barrier that prevents people from getting close enough to Lucy so that Lucy will not be hurt emotionally again. So this is one possible answer. So what is... Uh, okay, this one possible answer. Okay, what is another possible answer? Why is the metaphor effective? So you can also say that the metaphor... 
is effective because what does it tell the reader? It tells the reader that Lucy intentionally another word for intentionally deliberately okay keep keeps because it's Lucy single subject singular subject singular verb, verb intentionally or deliberately keeps a distance from others to prevent these people from getting close to her So getting close enough to her, again, need to be more precise in the answer, enough to her, right, to cause, sorry, cause her emotional pain. Or you can say, cause her to suffer emotionally. It's also possible. Okay, so this is two possible answer. Okay, two possible answer. Okay, now let's take a look at exercise six. Okay, Joe's personal trainer whipped him back into shape within three months. Explain why the metaphor used is effective. So if you've never seen a whip before, okay, this is a picture of the whip whipped into shape. So what does the metaphor whipped into shape mean? Okay, what does it mean? Okay, so uh, when you are being whipped into shape, what comes to your mind? That the training is very tough, okay? That uh, the training would be quite strict, okay, and the training can be quite painful. So, uh, why is this matter for use effective? So, what does it tell the reader? Okay, what does it make the reader imagine? Okay, so, pause the video, write your answer, later come back and check. Yeah, are you ready? Let's continue. Okay, so I explain why the metaphor used is effective. The metaphor is effective because it tells the reader, okay, That the that uh, Joe and Diot the pain, okay, or what others? What possible answers just now did we say? Uh, the strict exercise regime. Okay, what this in the order? Strict exercise regime or the training, right? You can say the painful, the painful. Training, physical training. 
Okay, that's more precise, right? Okay, endure the pain, okay, of the exercise regime, okay, and what happens, okay, to get back in shape. Get back in shape means to be fit again. Right, okay, so these are the um, exercises that we have done for metaphor. If you have still have any questions, please uh, leave a comment or on question or leave your questions on the SRS or you know, approach your teachers and we will explain it to you.